Hey, save some trees for the next guy. Let's go. Move it out. Get on going. Come on, it's not a nature show. I got things to do. Okay, I'm just going to film the cars then. Still here? Come on, move it. Move it. You've had enough leaves. friend Terry's place and Terry has a body shop as well and he's an actual professional and uh, my friend Pete uh, who we met last year has a uh, drag racing car I think we saw number 595 last year well he's upgraded the 35 Ford to a Model T bodied uh, rail car <coughs> or whatever they call it I don't remember what the exact name of these types of cars is they're really fast anyway uh, since they wanted to respray the car, I thought we'd come down and have a few laughs. And I want to do kind of like a, well, I don't know, we're just going to have some fun, but I want to do kind of a 70s, you know, rock and roll kind of paint job on it. So let's uh, go see what Terry and Pete have gotten up to here. And uh, we'll be back in a day or two. I'm here today just dropping off the black base coat. So Terry's going to shoot the whole car black and then we're going to put some candy candy colored mayhem on there and have some laughs and as you can see Terry is a full-size Chev guy and that is a very I think that's a 70 very nice so uh, Terry's good stuff let's go see what's happening hey we're here with Terry today and Terry's been so kind as to do 99% of the work on Pete's car already and he sprayed it black last night so I'm just here to uh, uh, put some stripes on and have some laughs and uh, so anyway, I just wanted to say a very sincere thank you to Terry for uh, letting himself be talked into this. Uh, I think that I'm probably more responsible for wasting Terry's time than I would like to admit. So uh, anyway, I'll uh, put a link to Terry's uh, YouTube channel here because he's doing some pretty fantastic uh, repairs and restorations. And uh, an actual professional unlike myself. So, uh, <laughs> so thanks so much, buddy. And, uh, Let's see what we can get up to here. We got a, this would be like a 26 or 7T Roadster if it was in fact any percentage actual Ford. Do you think the grill's real or is it, uh, anyway, there might be some actual T parts. I don't think so. I just want to make it uh, something that my friend and people have fun with. And uh, so we can't really change the world here, but it already looks like Terry's gone way beyond the call of duty here. So we're just gonna have some laughs and I just wanted to say thanks to Terry. All right, thank Cheers. you. Yeah, right on. Awesome. Got the uh, first little bit of fine line tape laid out on the car, and this is just kind of blocking in where we're going to uh, put our nonsense and where we're not. So uh, you can see all this is going to stay black, and I'm going to be putting a quarter inch stripe here, and then a panel in here, and just very standard stuff. Just always looks better to have a break and you know outline whatever you're going to do with a little stripe so probably what i'll do is we're going to shoot all this silver and then i'll probably mask this outer one off so it stays silver and then we'll have our uh, gold candy and and shaded areas in here and left a lot a lot of room to screw around here in the back uh, the sides would be a little simpler and i'm not going to get too crazy here because uh, Pete needs to have room for uh, the numbers and such on there. So we'll do that. Running boards. Front fenders, very similar to the rest of it. A little bit awkward here because we've got these vents cut in so the fenders don't blow apart at 200 miles an hour. And running boards here. 
you know, for a Model T, these aren't too rusty. Uh, okay, so that's about it. Let's see in profile what it's roughly going to look like. And just trying to get a nice 70s dragster vibe going, that's all. Right, Boo Boo Dog? You bored? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start papering this off. Not exactly uh, exciting, but we really have to seal it up well because I'll be doing silver and candy and whatever, and it's important that all the parts that are black stay black. So, look at him, he did a great job, so we're just having some fun. silver and that's a, an easy way to get started and then we'll uh, I don't know I'm gonna, I have no idea what we're gonna do the rest of it but 
that's what we're going to do for now. Just at least cover that up and uh, then when we're all done, the whole design will be outlined in silver. So that'll be fun. And it's fairly easy. And it's going to work out. That didn't take very long. Uh, so, now, I don't know. I think what I want to do is fog the edges in a darker color. And then I want to have, I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. I think, I think what we'll do, I want to do a little bit of fun stuff, but we don't have time to get carried away. So I'm going to just think about this for a minute and then we're going to lay out some panels. I want everything to be very simple and straight lines if possible, just because it gets pretty tricky if we uh, start getting too crazy here. Okay, only the side left to do. Well, that sounds like he is here, so we will get his opinion and then we will finish the side. Hey, boss, how's it going? It's going. How are you doing? Good. You hungry? Oh, oh yeah, you bet. How are you doing? Oh, check that out. Hey, just crazy, eh? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Take a quick video.
always forget what year is this? 1987. 87, oh my god. I'm so old. That was my, I graduated. So. Yeah. It's already in high school. Though. That was a while ago. Still, looks like a modern bike, you, you know? If you don't really know much, a lot of people think this is not very old. Yeah, it's got hydraulic clutch. Hydraulic, obviously. Uh, 19, is that kilometers? Yep. 19,000. Yeah. Well, there are some advantages to a six week riding season. Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of low mileage bikes out there in Canada. Ooh, check out the spanky chain. Brand new so, mufflers. Made a new big difference. tires, original spec. Yep. Made a huge difference. The bike rides like, like it should. Right, right. The 35 year old one was a little crusty. <laughs> it still looked okay. It did. That's why I wasn't changing it. <laughs> it was worth it. That was a good thing you did. Yeah, this is a sweet pea. It's night and day. until about 90, 91 maybe. So it's three intakes and two exhausts? Yep. Oh, they can't be bigger than dimes either. Yeah, they must have been pretty good though. Uh, I think because of the the way that they built that head, it doesn't need to rev like a contemporary bike mm -hmm. to make the power. I mean, I don't, I don't rev it up that much more than 8,000 anymore. I just, it will, but... Yeah. It's it's 35 years old and it doesn't need to go fast like other bikes. I guess the thing is the modern ones have such big tires on the back. Oh right? yeah, this is the last. This looks one. pretty modern until you look at park it next to a new bike and they have tires that are on the back, which was big in its day. And the 16-inch front wheel is what's really that was an 80s thing, yeah, hey? big time, yeah. That's why the tire is kind of expensive and rare. It's not like you had a lot of choices for 16-inch fronts. Man, remember when they had these headlights, that how high-end that looked? That was like... Yeah, and that's glass. Today. That's glass, yeah. With did glass you put that plastic shit on there? I did, because it had a little chip yeah, in yeah. it. But and at I'm least like, it's safe now. Yeah. When did they go to fuel? No, that was oh years God, later. Not till, not till the, the 2000s? Uh, probably 2006, seven, maybe. Yeah. They had carburetors so dialed in. Like, if you want to find the best tuned carburetors, you think about how much power these made per liter with four carburetors, and yet they work from it's idling. It's pretty alarming that it'll just start up there yeah. and just sit there idling like a car yeah. when there's so little reciprocating mass and such a red line. And but they didn't do any crazy cam timing or anything on them, right? It was. I don't think they. Uh, I mean, what is it? Rev I mean, to? it won't sit there. It to It'll sit there and idle. So there's no, there's no cam timing advance or variable or any of that. No, right? no, no. Way before that stuff. I think it weighs about 430 pounds or something. 450 pounds. It's not light, but it's not. It's the era when Yamaha had a good motor, but their frame was still steel. Yeah, it's one of the last steel frame ones. GSXRs probably. were aluminum by this time, and that was just. And in '85, they came up with them. This was the only fairing. This was all added later in '86 and '87. They just had that little fairing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks so much better with the bottom one. You don't get to see the engine laid down like it is, though. It's kind of cool. It's way ahead, isn't it? Yeah, it's laid down at a 45. Okay, we're back at the gym estate yeah. on the gift that keeps giving Continental. And today yeah. we had to revamp our wheel opening because it was a little too, I guess the opening was too short. The border was too long. So we actually moved that, what, 5 sixteenths or so? Oh, it came back quite a bit. It had to come back quite a bit to fit the, is this our guy? Yeah, the old stainless. Yeah. So we're trying to match the shape of the panel, there we go, to the molding. So that looks a lot better. And, uh, you know, 
getting within range anyway. So a lot of uh, fiddling, fiddling, I guess. And now we see Jim's been starting in. <laughs> oh, sorry, I try not to laugh. Look at that door. <laughs> Just tragic. But we can see there's lead here and a bunch of old grinder marks and bullshit. And I think that these were substantially leaded out when it was first installed. Excuse me, because we have it on the original welds. Let's pop this string out and have a look in there. But the short answer is we got to get this quarter panel from here to here, way out there, way out. Well, at least get most of that back, right? Yeah. Right. That's not uh, that's not hand fitted looking right now. <laughs> so I can see a kink in it here. So that's where we're gonna start. So that's today. It's just fitting and fiddling. Jim's got some. Yeah, gears. maybe we'll turn it into a uh, truck conversion. <laughs> We're gonna make a Woody. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Woody quarter panel. <laughs> just cut it off at the windshield and make your own body. So right here, I see right away. Well, just uh, is that even doing anything? No, it's uh, hanging out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. None of these are really that ironed down, so that's good. Give yeah. me a pry bar and let's just start hammering here. You can see we've got it right there. Look at that. It's exactly centered on where it used to be welded. So, right? And you cross measured the car. Yeah. The car so is the square. Car so is that square. was welded in the wrong place right from there. Yeah. Or and it's probably like the rest of it. Or they just, just they got her close and let it let it, it all. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, so that's fine. That but we can just use a little less lead. Thanks, buddy. But I'm hoping that it'll... Oh, look at... Geez, it's not even really a challenge. Of it, yeah. Okay, lots of room. That's where we got a beads, right? Oh, there. Okay. Okay. Well, you just put a screw on the inside, then. I'm just going to move this, and uh, you just jimmy a screw in there. Sorry, did I say jimmy? I didn't mean that. You know what I mean. Install. Install, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking into the origins of the term piss cutter the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. A real piss cutter? Well, you're referring to your car as a piss cutter, and it made zero sense to me. <laughs> Was I? Yeah. When? Uh, the Le car. Oh, yeah. No, a piss yeah. cutter is like something that's not good. Oh, it's, it's a hat. It's a real, huh? It's a hat. It's a hat? <laughs> yeah. It's oh, it's a piss cutter. It's a hat. hat. And because it's a, it looks oh. like a penis. Yeah. Oh wow! It's a lot better already. Holy shit! Oh, man. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Let's get a mallet on here and tap this down. See if it comes any more. There we go. Mallet that baby. It's a hat. A hat, yeah. Oh, okay. But it's also turn like if you're having a bad day. Yeah, like, yeah, it's a real piss, piss cutter cut. of yeah, a day. Yeah, uh, for sure. That's what rain, I. Rain, piss cutting rain. But uh, I think if we can get another screw in it there. Yeah, it's area piss cutter. <laughs> I'm still laughing about Alf, man. That was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the little lawyers reached out to you. No, I didn't get any trouble. Yeah. There's no pro Alf people there. What's no... you? Unsubscribe. Yeah. <laughs> The Al fucking club all unsubscribed. Ashley thought we were talking about Al. <laughs> like, Ash is like, Al's nice. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> no, Alf, the, yeah. the, the alien. Yeah, the little alien guy, yeah. Uh, Can I loosen, take this that, loosen that guy off. Okay, and put that down. Look at these mummified door motors and you see that stuff. Oh yeah. They're all wrapped, They're wrapped really up and wrapped in muslin and salt. Mummified on that poor old Mummified guy. old. Yeah, the collision work is just the tip of the old iceberg. Oh, yeah. 
we push that. that down. If we were to push that down and put a screw in it. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay. Because the whole idea was that we would screw the entire panel on exactly where it's going to go so that when yeah. we're done, all you got to do is take a screw out and blast the weld in it and then go back and fill it all in. Okay. Somewhere for sure. Oh, nice, yeah. Uh, is this door lined up to? Are you happy with it? But how is it to the rocker? The parallel to the rocker? Yeah, to the that's rocker. That's number one. Really good. If you're parallel to the rocker, that's what matters. Yeah. 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 Looks great to the rocker. Yeah. Everything, and everything we do it. makes the car look better down the side. Yeah. Right. There. Good as a weld. Yeah, it's you a bunch of time. <laughs> let over those? <laughs> let over all the screws. Yeah. Oh, nice. You're getting a lot closer. Yeah, that's coming. Okay. Nice. Let's get a quick looky at the oh, updated yeah. repair here. Easy to look at now. Easy to look at. That's uh, starting to flush up pretty decent. We brought that edge way down and used it to push this out. We got a a little work to do. Remembering I replaced all that because it had been ground right through. So that, if it doesn't hurt my feelings, I have to beat on that a bit. But we actually have a nice parallel and flush door edge all the way down to where it turns to garbage there. But that's uh, that's a bit more, a little bit at a time, buddy. Yeah, yeah now when you catch the reflection on it, it's just, yeah. <laughs> What reflections are you looking at? Hawk marks. Yeah, this is the like summer that. of 2020 summer challenge. Yeah. Yeah, 2020. <laughs> it was 2020, eh? Was it 21? When did we start it? I mean, 21, 20, wasn't it? It's 21, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. That or was it? Hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, good. We need it. All right, it's another evening. Yeah. Banging on yeah, the yeah, continental. Yeah. And so <clears throat> Jim was getting after templates here so anyway we had to adjust the wheel well was a uh, what do we say wheel well is too big at the front and too short at the back yeah and, the uh, trim stainless trim kept us very honest so. yeah right well let's get a picture of it then even though the trim itself is possibly seen better days okay and before and after trip. Yeah, right? Before. <laughs> How about there? Yeah, that's perfect here. Yeah, there we go. So the trim was actually sticking out past the wheel lip. So good thing that that showed up yeah. there. And it fits inside that body line quite nicely. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the rear trim, same thing. Is this our guy here? There we go. It was sticking out way past it. Now it's pretty flush with it. Good. Well, and uh, yeah, we can just beat that in a bit. They're still fine tuning, no question about it. But that was a uh, that was surprisingly successful, actually. Yeah, it's. You can see our old line here. It's actually we had a lot of work to do. For an but unfold, unfold. Yeah, it was uh, drilled and screwed there. Yeah, or? no, we had a we were a ways out, which is uh, a, a little bit surprised because I measured all that pretty carefully but I think it was just a matter of folding it soft and then uh, oh, you know the wrong it just got sharpened on the wrong side of the line yeah so but that's okay that's uh, another day closer yeah, to peel out a bit and just yeah yeah and you're starting to make some headway on the door oh I don't know <laughs> that's flatter yeah, for sure. Yeah. Is it stretched there? It probably is, eh? Oh, Looks yeah, like yeah. it. So, you know, if you welded those holes up, that'll help shrink it too. Ah. Right? Like, don't get it all perfect and then weld the holes yeah, up because yeah. it'll be over shrunk. Yeah. And uh, you'll probably get some self shrinking when you fix that guy. The, re yeah. the rest of the bottom is okay, or is this all garbage yeah, it's too? Decent, yeah. Is it? Good. Decent as it's going to be for the big. Uh... <laughs> Wedding, white, wedding white splash a thon. I can't wait. 
It'll be like a car wash. He'll just have those mop things on the drive through. It'll just be slopping all over it. Remember that they did that on the A team, remember? Oh, did they? Yeah, they had to paint oh. like they had to paint like twenty five cars in one day to save the taxi company or oh, whatever. Really? Yeah, yeah. So they bought all these old cop cars and they rigged up a car wash. Oh man, oh, we'll have that to go back awesome. and look at that. Yeah, we'll have to do like the Mr. T paint yeah, job. Yeah, that'd be cool. This, uh, yeah, that's nicer. So we could still come out a bit more here, but you can see all that lead there. So that's how they did it last time. You had to melt a bunch of lead out to get oh, the welds like, out too. Yeah, yeah, it was all lead in that whole Yeah, lead. yeah. Lead seems to be the theme here. Oh yes, now, get the lead out. Did we get And any... I've got the book with all the proper uh, dimensions for our body lines too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fine. It's got specific instructions. Well, as long as we're already. letting them all, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, right, it can be whatever. Because they're all like Ford Custom 500 until you put the lead on. That's why I said we're putting it on the car and fine tuning it on the car. Yeah. Because yeah, no, that was a that was quite the, right the fine call. tune, but it's. Uh, I was fine. Uh, yeah, I was a little a uh, little bit worried, but came out really good. All right, we are back at the Jim Estate with the Jim Continental. Where did we get yeah. to last time? We sorted oh, out we the wheel all lifts. All sorts of things, yeah. Right. Wheel lifts. Trim, I think we were fitting, door getting we were better. reasonably happy with those now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Looking quite nice. Uh, oh, that felt line was us, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then next step was the bumper and removal and uh, rear end. Uh, oh yeah, we want to start back here then and start matching this up to the I other side. So yeah, yeah. getting uh, yeah lengths and shapes and getting this and the scoop. Okay. We were gonna put an extra bit of shimming in there, right? Because uh, that seems a little tight. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then we want to roll this in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've rolled yeah, this to right. kind of match So that. what we'll do, maybe we'll get a contour from the other side. Yeah. And we'll match it. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. And ditto here. Does this have to roll in? I yeah, guess it, yeah. all, the, it all does, The bottom, because right? it kind of, the trim's yeah. Yeah. maybe a 47 degree angle or something. Like, <laughs> like that. 47, get my eh? spec sheet out. <laughs> okay. Judging standards. Right. Yeah, of course. Can't have any of that. You want to take oh, the yeah. bumper off first? I guess we can't do much with that thing yeah, we until might we as do. Well. Oh, no way, there's a crescent wrench in here. Oh. Perfect. Well, well stored, yeah. <laughs> like that. Okay, so I think in the interest of, because we can't get the, can this little piece come off? Oh, it, it can, okay. Oh, it looks like a block of hammer handle in here. Okay, yeah. Oh. So we can make a contour from this jalopy here. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, this is kind of ratched though, buddy. Oh, is it? Well, <laughs> yeah, but. I think we can gather what we need to know from the front of it. You okay. have a look at that back corner is pretty hammered up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see how awesome. mangled that is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you go up to the front, you get might get a better profile. Yeah, the old filler there. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll start disassembling this corner then. Next job, I'm curling this, and now we're trying to roll the final four inch return underneath there to match the rocker, which you can see it really rolls underneath. So that was a little understructured because it was just hanging up on the wall. So, oh, what have I got here? Is that you? <laughs> okay. That's exiting stage left there. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. What happens when I do this? Just check here. Oh yeah, it's definitely going. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go for the middle. Okay. You happy? Uh, I think so, yeah. You're just on the top line there? Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, move it back a bit more. Okay. Say when. 
Okay, you don't have much support at the back here. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh. One more. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the back. Oh. oh. Got her pretty good that time. <laughs> That's good though. Once we got it started, it'll yeah, yeah. kind of keep going. So uh, we're gonna go right here. Just about two thirds from the back, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Now, so we definitely got her on its way. Oh, yeah. It's overlapping yeah. there now. So we are starting to roll it under. I'm not so still a ways to go, right? Oh, like quite a curl. A yeah. long ways to go. That's unbelievable. Okay, how thick is this flange? See, I got like an inch and a quarter here, and that just makes everything very difficult. Yeah, I don't think it's anywhere near that. Uh, if it's only if it's three quarters of an inch, then we can take a bunch of this off. But yeah, it's uh, three quarters of an inch. Okay. It goes down to about five eighths in the. Uh, the zone there, the trim zone. Okay, because that will mean that this can be very easily trimmed back. Yeah, Let's half start half with that. Okay, so here goes nothing. Take this thing right here, and we're just gonna roll this oh, yeah. way the fuck in there. Roll your arm. Oh, it's all just freaking off up here. Huh. Okay, so we are not gonna do it with this flange here. Okay, yeah, and that flange is all pretty loosey goosey. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah. Um, but the flange is now obviously also way yeah, yeah. too big. So. I'm gonna roll the flange just kind of out of the way for now. Yeah. And we'll make it fit the finished quarter. Everything, the quarter is the boss, right? So. Oh yeah, everybody. Eats. There. I think I might have rolled out the. <laughs> huh? I think it kind of rolled yeah, this that's out, okay. but that's a. Oh, there you go. You roll that in. Yeah, and that's. Uh, Oh, we don't know where we are anymore, but we yeah. can put that back to here and we'll go to our to our quarter inch or whatever it was, right? Yeah. No, or half here, right? Half, yeah. Quarter here. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty close. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the neighborhood? That's the look. Can you take a trip to the other side? Look at that. Oh, look at that. There it is. It sits right on there. Yeah. It sits exactly on there. Nice, nice. Okay, so we just got to duplicate that here and keep rolling, but that's, that actually looks decent. So what we're trying to do is get that radius onto here and I think we've got it there. So. And we have this. If we get that in there, it's kind of hard, but you can see it's pretty goddamn close. Considering that entire thing's underneath the molding anyway. Oh yeah. We just gotta be so that the molding looks good. Yeah. So that means we just have to carry this to the back now, right? Yeah. Huge. Alright. Now, can we get anything in there? How about your uh the pointy guy? Your pointy dolly? Yeah, your he's flat... right over there. I can grab him. Okay, thanks. looking pretty good. Oh yeah. OK. 
Okay. Okay. Now. There. Okay. I think we might just have to clamp it to something. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Hey. Pretty close to parallel to that other side. Oh yeah, now we're getting some the curl. Right? Okay. Yeah, buddy. Matches there. <coughs> and uh obviously this is all less than ideal, but that's not really Oh yeah. Yeah. Should slide in there. Alright. Okay. Oh, you got something in here. It's a piece of rubber, a hose. Oh, or... it's probably wiring tail light. Oh, yeah. Scoopy. Scoop guy. Come on, Scoopy. Come on, Scoopy. Get in there. Oh, there. there. Nice. Holy sheep shit. Wow. It goes in there. It you actually know. fits. It's always been in there. Like it's always been there, except it kind of, well, and that legitimately fits. Wow. Right? Yeah, man. So. Now, look at, we can still move this whole quarter up and down, so we got a ways to go yet. Yeah, right? So, so that's okay though, because yeah. we're going to have every screw in this before any more welds come in. It's just thrown in, right? Oh, yeah. So, okay. But you can see that that could now conceivably be installed someday. Yeah. Okay. Now, is there any way that you can get in there with that dolly so I can hammer these? Remember that flap? Pumps out of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. They should be able okay. to figure See if you can do that. Well, I think we got it onto our line, which looks pretty fair. Oh, that's sweet, man. So now, what do you think? Should we just flange this in a bit? Yeah, give it a quick flange job. A little light flanging. And okay, what was uh, should we be aiming to have this kind of screwed together then? I think and so. Get and kind of a because as long as it's flopping around, we can't yeah. do much with the rest of it. Yeah, okay, taped the trim on for theatrical uh, <laughs> for effect. Yeah, yeah. for the storyline, people love a good story. <laughs> now, that was one screw. Like, so like this, right there. Like I swear it fucking fits better. It fits better now, yeah. Okay. That's what we're gonna say anyway. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. So. Will you pin it to something with that roll or clamp it? <sighs> Not very well. Well, you know what? I can probably. The deep ones, you can hit it to this thing. I was just thinking, let me do this. Yeah. It's ugly, but it's rolled. Yeah. But it's there. And then we could take. See, now, if it's stable, we can push on the middle. And, ah, yes. But, uh, so are we content that that's pretty reasonable now? Let's see. Because this is on a bit of an angle. Get this out of the way. Of course, it's. Holy shit. It's pretty friggin', that's a lot closer than we were. Yeah, yeah. That could pass. I guess if you want to try and go even harsher, we can. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. There it that's is. it. Yeah. Just start buzzing. Because really, this is a matter of literally just pushing this up and welding it to the inside now. Yeah. Right, because this will all curl oh, fairly yeah. easily, right? When I do this. Yeah, that's what it needs. And it, it will all pinch to that one that you folded over. Yeah. So that's actually going to be not too much of an issue now. Yeah. And I'll put this where we were, right over there. Yeah. And there. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that, buddy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, no, when you push yeah. this. As soon as you push this just, up, yeah. even just gently, just makes it look everybody's good. done, right? Yeah. I mean, within yeah, reason. Yeah, that looks perfect. Yeah, it's quite a bit quieter to remove a screw than it is attack. Look at that. Nice. I could put a screw up here, too, if we wanted to get really. Yeah, go crazy. Yeah, because. Um... 
Okay. Look at it. Nice. Yes. Holy. Look at it. It feels like a totally different panel now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's sweet. That's exactly the... Yeah, uh, that's exactly the shape. So I'm really happy about that. That was a bit of a challenge for sure. Another day of screwing around. We've got the trim really nicely matched to the shape of the quarter now. And, and not too long. Right? Yeah. The exact fit on both ends now. And the whole panel rolling away in a nice radius that way. So still a long ways to go, which we say at the end of every Continental episode. Yeah, it's a still a long ways radius. to go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a treat. It is. We also say that a lot. Sorry. It's a treat because it actually is. Well, a little less bleak than we started today. Oh, every day, yeah, a little less bleak than the last little one. A little less bleak, yeah. yeah. Hey, I uh, see your Model A coming together. Yeah, it is. is that, uh, I'm assuming that's also taking priority over... Oh, uh, well, pay, <laughs> paying work. Yeah, yeah, it is just uh, Over this, I mean, oh, you know, paying yes. work, I think you probably still find time for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the wolves at bay. Yeah, you bet. Well, that... We'll see. I, uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to have this piece of, we're gonna have to put this piece of string on the wall or down like the continental string. Continental string, yeah. yeah. It's got all the shapes. It's That's right, you really could build one. Way. We could almost build one from scratch. Yeah, the build one via the, the string. Right? We've got all the numbers. If anybody else needs the numbers, <laughs> we'll send you the piece <laughs> of string in our chart. Yeah. Oh, look at the way that just looks completely different now. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's see. Oh, oh, sure, look at that. Yeah. You really notice it now that you're looking for it, you know? Yeah, no, it's cool. It's, uh, it's really getting to be the last of the big edges. Getting, yeah, uh, yeah. Sorted into everything. And yeah, it's starting to get drum-like, too. Yeah, and it does tighten up as we, and we knew that. And that's why I was like, we got to start really hammering it down because otherwise we're never... You, you know, like there was, you'd never get this just hanging it on the wall. Like it just, it has to be on the car. So it's good. Hey, one more day without having to take it off. Yeah. Sometime in the next dozen segments, we'll uh, weld it. Oh yeah. <laughs> See if I have mid gas. We yeah. Well, you got, in such so you got till August to get some. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, let's go have a drink. So I was. Uh, just outside with Frankers the other day and and uh, I was I don't know playing with something in the driveway here and, and Frankers is barking and barking and barking and you know she does that every time she sees a squirrel or a bird or whatever so I was just like okay whatever she's having fun and I kept doing what I was doing and then like five or ten minutes later she's still barking and barking and I'm like you know I thought maybe she'd seen a cat or whatever like she gets pretty excited about just about anything so Anyway, I went over there and she came running up to me and uh, she was kind of looking at me like, what took you so long? Like I was trying to explain to you that there's a moose here. Anyway, good girl. Did you uh, find a moose? Well done. Anyway, uh, once I got Frankers safely out of the way, I just thought that I should grab a camera and uh, get a little bit of moose footage for you guys. So that's, uh, yeah, I don't know much about it. It's uh, just a local moose that wanders by. Uh, it's never actually stayed here for any length of time, but yesterday it kind of hung around all day. The uh, leaves have just come out, this being May 12th. And uh, so when the leaves are new, uh, they're very tasty apparently. So the moose uh, sat in there. Mosquitoes come out the same day usually. Uh, the moose sat there and uh, ate half my trees and then uh, decided to just take a nap. So it kind of just laid down and had a nap by the forklift. And then it was still here after dinner. And uh, finally after dark it went away. I live near a pretty busy road so I didn't really want to try and scare it out of here. So anyway, that's why all the moose footage in the video today. I just thought, well you don't see those all the time. And kind of a fun, you know, Canadian uh, stereotype that I uh, get to perpetuate. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into the show this week. As always, we uh, have a great time putting it together and really happy that anybody would sit through uh, an hour-long uh, show of this type of thing. So, hey, 
you've done it. Uh, thanks, as always, to the patrons of the show who make it possible to spend the time to do something like this. It is, uh, it is for you guys. It's very kind of you and really sincerely appreciate it every week. I uh, just wanted to take a second to offer our condolences to Brent at half Ass Customs and his family. They had a pretty devastating fire there, so we're sending all our best as they rebuild. Uh, I'm sure everybody who watches this show knows that happened, but if you, uh, if you haven't, anyway, stop in and, uh, and then offer him some encouragement uh, on our behalf because uh, that would be absolutely uh, just terrible here and I can't imagine what it would be like. So uh, sending you guys our very best, of course. We have coming up, uh, obviously, work on the Model T continues at Strong's Garage. Those guys are awesome and they're doing a fantastic job getting my engine ready. I hope to get over there fairly soon and see how that's going. I've uh, got the 37 Chev ever closer to inspection, uh, mounting up tires next, and then i uh, got a broken window, exhaust, you know, there's still details to sort out on that guy before we get plates on it, but that's coming this summer. Uh, obviously there will be updates on all of the Plymouth Fury projects. Uh, I wanted to have the yellow 59 finished for this week, but uh, not... Uh, not possible due to circumstances beyond my control and we've uh, decided we have to take on the interior in that car despite it looking so nice it's uh, the foam is so dry that you uh, every time you drive it you come out covered in yellow powder so that's gonna have to be addressed so I'm looking forward to some interior work on that guy as always uh, please check if you think you're subscribed to the show because uh, YouTube does seem determined to unsubscribe people Franker seems determined to make noise in the background. Oh, she's eating the leaves off the trees. I think she was learned that from the moose. Are you a moose now? Hey, hi. Are you a moose? You're a tiny moose. That's good. Hi there. Come say hi. Yeah. So. That's about it. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, another fantastic day here. It looks like it's going to be a nice weekend. So, yeah, please uh, hit the old subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this kind of thing. It really does help the show get seen. And, uh, and we'll see everybody very soon. Cheers. This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old one. shit.
Thank <laughs> you.